Welcome back to the Crypto Report. I'm Black C, and I have another video for you guys. Bitcoin is crashing, guys. We are down to $57,000. How much further are we going to go down? Is this the bottom? We're going to talk about that. So without further ado, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Let's hop into this video. So guys, right now, Bitcoin is trending just barely above $57,000. Dollars, Pretty incredible. Pretty incredible to see this. Did not expect this much of a dip to happen so swiftly. That being said, we did have the FOMC meeting today, which threw a little bit of volatility into the mix. But that being said, it was kind of accessory to the fact that after the fact, it was we were already dumping with Bitcoin earlier. Bitcoin dominance dumping along with it, trading at 52.47%. When you exclude stablecoins, we're basically trading at 54.48%. Coming down, getting rejected off that 57% level. In my opinion, guys, if we chop around here, around the 57, maybe even reclaim to 60K, probably see some altcoins make some big moves. The altcoins are holding up relatively well right now after this dump to the downside. I really want to talk about what these time frames look like on Bitcoin and really give you guys my opinion, breaking down from the lower term time frames and up and where I think we could be headed here, if the bottom is in or not. But, for, but before we do that, please go follow me on Instagram at 333 Black I said if I got to 200 followers by the time of this video, that I would give $200 away encrypted to one of you guys, but we didn't reach that. So I've got a new threshold here. If we can get to 300 followers by the end of this week, I will give $300 to somebody that follows me. So go follow me at 333 Black C on Instagram. Let's keep going deeper into this, guys. Let's start off with the weekly time frame on Bitcoin. Okay. We've spilled over. We have spilled over below this little tiny yellow trend line here. But we are holding up on it. We wicked below it, which is to be expected. But we are still holding above it. Okay. That's important. Now, market cipher. We're starting to see the momentum wave clip. We are still, unbelievably, still above this. We have not fully clipped below the 60 line on market cipher, which usually indicates when we do clip below this that there's some pain around the corner. Which, guys, we have been seeing some pain here. We have been seeing some pain. We came down. Let's measure from the top of this local top, we'll call it, to where we are now, because I'm very curious to see where we're at here. We have come down basically 22% from the new all-time high. Now, do I think that there's more room to the downside? Well, on the weekly time frame, we are on the skin of our teeth here, guys, uh, if we are to spill over for some more pain. I think that there's a chance that the bottom is in. But over on Twitter, I did say this. This is something I'm leaning more into. You know, right now, guys, in my opinion, is the time to sit back, sit on your hands. If you're in and you haven't taken profits, you probably need to ride this out unless we see some further signs and signals that we're going to spill over more. We get some more confirmations. But right now, guys, I think we're going to sideways chop. I think we're going to get some sideways chop, maybe make our way into the 50s a little bit more. And if that's the case, you go away. Sell in May, walk away, spend time with your family, probably be a choppy summer, something similar to what we saw back here in 2021 when we spilled over and had a sideways chop for a significant amount of time. I think that's on the table, especially if we do get a confirmation on the weekly below this 60 line here, this white line on market cipher, indicate there'll be some pain. But that being said, there's invalidations. There are invalidations. If we bounce up here and trade sideways, probably don't close below that and probably are still in the bull zone territory. Now let's go to the monthly. The monthly, we put in our first little red candle. And right now we're looking at hiking a she, which indicates basically trends. It's easier to see trend lines with, when you're using hiking a she candles. And we're starting to see our first red candle indicating the beginning of a sell trend. And we also have a red dot here on the bottom at market cipher on the top of this wave, which, guys, is pretty bearish. You can see from the last times we've had that happen. Bam, big sell-off right here. Bam, we had the summer lull, which I was just talking about, the possibility of that happening. And this little tiny one right here was basically the beginning of the end for the previous cycle. We're getting one right now, guys. It doesn't necessarily mean that 
it's over, and this can also disappear. We'll have to see if this manifests itself and stays for the long term when we see another monthly candle close. But let's go to the two monthly. The two monthly is basically the only thing in my mind where, okay, we have a little bit more time. We're not above the 60 yet on the two monthly. And you know, when I say a little bit of time, I'm not saying, oh, the bull market's over by any means necessary. I'm not saying that. I don't want you guys to think that. But what I am saying here, guys, is that we've been talking about this for a while. I've been saying, if we sell off here, because we've been analyzing this weekly, we've been analyzing the 60 line market cipher, I've been saying, if we sell off here, that does not mean the bull market's over. But it does mean that there's some pain. There's some pain coming. And what will that set us up for, you may ask, which we've been talking about for a while on the Crypto Report? A longer bull market, guys. If we have pain throughout the summer here, sideways, chop, consolidation, sell in May, walk away, come back in July or maybe August, it's going to set us up for a nice bull run into 2025. It's going to extend this bull market for higher prices and a longer time frame. I've been saying if we were to bounce here, reclaim the 60,000, make our way up basically before we saw this capitulation, it was 67K was kind of our number we were looking for. Closing above 67,000 was going to set us up for that reach to say $90,000 Bitcoin. And in my opinion, Maybe, maybe push past to 100, 120 with a sell-off with the end of the bull market being in mid-2024. And right now, this is kind of giving us confirmation that this bull market is going to last longer. We're getting a little bit of a cool-off period. And guys, that's okay. That's okay. We're seeing, <laughs> I'm seeing the crypto sentiment absolutely terrible right now. It's the end of the world. People are talking about, it's over. We'll see you again in four years. And that's exactly what we need to really get that <laughs> continuation to the upside, which is absolutely incredible to, to say that out loud. But it's the truth, guys. You need everybody. You need the bulls, the bear. You need the bears to say be, be saying it's over, calling for $5,000, $0 Bitcoin. You need the bulls to say, okay, like maybe this is over. Maybe Maybe I need to reassess some things like, oh, why didn't I sell? You need those talks to actually start to happen. And I think that's starting to play out right now. I do. I do think that, like I said, guys, though, on the weekly, it's important we look at this. If we do close below that 60 line on market cipher, more pain. More pain. And then <laughs> people are in, are really, really in pain right now. I can't even imagine if we come down to mid-50,000s or maybe even like 51K that it's possible that that happens. There are levels like the, I mean... 40s are possible, but I'm really, really not thinking that that's on the table uh, anytime soon, unless there's some serious whale games being played. And that's something that you guys need to know. There's probabilities of things happening in trading. But all it really takes is some big players to come together and take everybody by surprise. That's why trading is so difficult. It's not only emotional and technical and fundamental. There's Many more of that. People can play games. Big money can come in, splash around, and take everybody off off guard. Liquidate the longs. Liquidate the shorts. It, it can happen, guys. You need to be aware of it. So you need to be paying close attention to invalidations. And even if invalidations do happen, like I said, the whales can come in. The whales could come in tomorrow and send us back up to 75000 if they really want to. It's on the table. Anything is on the table with crypto. But the probability of that happening, probably pretty slim. Probably pretty slim. Probably use the technicals and the fundamentals first. Like today, we had Jerome Powell and the FOMC meeting. What happened? Pausing rates. Not talking about raising rates unless there's a catastrophe or something like that. They're saying basically they're not going to do it. Even though it is projected, there's a 20% chance right now that Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell is going to raise the interest rates. If that happens, there's going to be there's going to be a big problem. It's going to be a big problem. I don't think that that, that will happen. But people are betting that there's a twenty percent chance of that happening. But I will say Jerome was awfully dovish in his talks and answering his questions. 
like we saw a, a very interesting bounce. We saw, <laughs> I mean, it's a, it was a very choppy day with a, a little bit of a bounce. Let's look at the hourly to get a better picture of this. Yeah, we we bounced barely. We we came down to fifty six thousand and bounced all the way back up to fifty nine k. Just some wicks, whale games, lots of uh, this is usual usual price action for FOMC meetings. Just lots of wicks to the upside to the downside, uh, throwing a curveball at everybody. It's kind of how it goes. But guys, I do want to emphasize right now. Take a step back. Relax. Now is easy. You don't have to worry about taking profits. You can dollar cost averaging if you really want. I'm personally not doing that right now. I'm already in. I've taken profits along the way. I'm going to look into enter into some altcoins and we see some bigger dips. Like I bought some more Jupiter recently. Not today, but a day or so ago. Looking for those entries. But I really do think that right now is the time where you step back. Spend the summer with your friends and family. Have your notifications on because it can a pump can happen at any moment. Any moment. Sell in May, walk away. Be ready for a random notification on your phone saying Bitcoin's up 10% on the day. That's basically my opinion. I think we're, we're at right now. But guys, if you like this type of content, please like this video. Subscribe to the channel right now. I'm going to keep you guys up to date on what I'm seeing in these markets. Also, please, like I said, go follow me on Instagram at 333BlackSea. If I can reach 300 followers by the end of this week, I'll give $300 to one of you guys. Crypto, whatever kind of crypto you want, let me know. But guys, that's all I got for you. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.